Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Christian Family Esquire with today's edition of Family Time. You may notice that I am in fact still in the car, but that's making a move. And you might also notice that I now have a fancy new headset. Ooh, I'm hoping that this will make the sound quality better, um, especially as I'm making the move towards doing a lot more uh, podcasting and things like that. So the message for today is really a lesson in disappointment and it's centered around this here headset, which my dad got me for Christmas because that's what I asked for. I noticed on Tuesday that I could not find it. Was it Tuesday? Wednesday. Yeah. I noticed on Wednesday that I could not find it and I was very sad about it and so I'm going through this whole kind of mental process about where could it possibly be and so I finally remembered well the last time I remember having it I was at Kroger and so I made up in my mind that I had lost it at Kroger and I was just going to go there and pick it up so my mother and my girlfriend both say well can you just call Kroger and see if they have it and I said no I'm going to go because in my heart that's where it had to be, was at Kroger. So on the way there, uh, another idea popped in my mind um, of where it could be. And so then I had to start to think, is that doubt? What is the thing that, hmm. So I since there's some level of me that believed enough that the headset was at Kroger, that I was willing to get in the car and drive there immediately to pick it up. And the question was, what is the harm in being so committed in believing that something is some place that you just go all heart into it and, and follow it? And the answer to that was, was disappointment. There's the opportunity, there's the chance for disappointment. There's the chance that I believe so hard that this headset is there I put all my energy behind it, I got in the car, I drove there, I stood in a line, I asked for it. As the guy was digging around in the bucket because he understood what I was describing, I was like, yeah, sure, like that looked like, um, what do you call that, like recognition in his eyes, like, oh yes, he had seen that piece and he looked around and he came back and he said no. And it was disappointment. I did experience disappointment because I was so committed to this must be where it is. But I realized in doing it that as much as I do a lot of things to avoid disappointment, disappointment is not the end of the world. It's not the worst thing that could possibly happen to you. Isn't it better to try? Isn't it better to risk? Isn't it better to put all your energy behind one thing and get there? And to see the gift in being willing to put all my energy behind one thing and get there, even if disappointment is what awaited me. Now also, while I was on the way to the Kroger, a thought popped in my mind about where the headset might actually be. And so then there was this whole conversation about, well, is that doubt? Is that doubt uh, seeping in? Because right now you're all gung-ho about moving in this one direction. Go to Kroger, get the headset. And now this other idea is popping up. Do I stop abort mission and follow this other trail? Do I just keep going in the way that I'm going? I made the decision to keep going in the way that I was going and experienced the disappointment, which in itself was a success because it gave me the message for this here live talk. And the headset did in fact end up being located at the place that popped in my head when I was on my way there. So the lesson there was that it was just another option oh my gosh this video was so much better in my mind when i was doing it as i was experiencing this yesterday but this is where we are now um i have in fact created this video i'm excited that i did it i did it on the youtube platform i'm going to see later if i can download it from this platform and make it into a cut video and then put it back up because this will be the better way for me to get my videos out there as opposed to going Facebook Live. Again, 
not exactly sure if my message landed there but everything is practice and i'm glad i did this anyway <laughs> god bless this is christian family esquire